Alrighty, hello and welcome to my first uh, hammer tutorial. Uh, this is my first time I'm doing something like this, and the reason why is because a lot of people I've seen over the years want to know how to make a battery puzzle. Uh, the battery puzzle that I'm referring to is the one that you see in the coast, uh, where you have to hunt down, uh, I believe it's two batteries, because one's already there. And you put them in, a light turns green, and the combine come in and after a door opens, basically. And a lot of people want to know how to do this. And uh, a lot of them are, of course, beginners. And they don't know how to really decompile a map and know what the hell they're looking at. So <clears throat> I just decided to uh, take the initiative, go ahead, and make a couple tutorials maybe about the things that I see and how to specifically make them work through my experience. These might not be the best ways to make them work, but they sure as hell can make them work. Uh, so uh, this is just how to make, again, a rudimentary battery puzzle. And I should add that these videos do assume that you have very basic rudimentary knowledge on what exactly you're doing with hammer uh you know how to make brushes entities change things around this is just a very uh you know not advanced but less beginner friendly uh of a tutorial on how to make because we're going to do things a bit faster and i'm not really going to explain how to make brushes or entities but i will explain what we're doing and why we're doing it uh when it pertains to making the battery puzzle okay so First thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a very simple brush. And I'm going to lessen the uh, size of the blocks. So this is our floor. We've made the brush. Next we make the, uh, oh, that's a really big, hold on. I'm just going to shrink that real quick. We don't need this map to be that huge. Okay. So we're going to do that. Pull this back here. That's our info player start. Next, we need a table. Table is important because it's going to be the place where the batteries rest on. This can be about waist high. It does not matter, basically. Uh, we're going to extend this, however, one more block just because uh, we need some room. <coughs> okay, so next thing we're going to do is we need our batteries. So we're going to make both of these entities props so prop underscore not static physics all right next we're going to look for the world model and we just do that by filtering and searching battery uh it should be the only one of the only battery models there's only two batteries we're looking for the car battery model realistically it does not matter uh you can use any any model you want for this but to simplify things it's a battery puzzle we're gonna make them batteries the name we're going to set for both of these is just battery one. Then we're going to hit apply. Now, we don't want these in the ground. That's going to cause some wonky, very awful physics errors that we don't want. So we're going to put this here. And now we're going to add some triggers. Now, uh, we're going to do this right on top, like right about here. We're going to do these right on top of here. And we're going to make these pretty skinny and decently tall uh, i will explain why exactly we're doing this uh let's go here and we can just put the second one here <clears throat> okay next we're gonna add two entities two very separate entities and these entities are both going to be info underscore targets and again info underscore target uh these are also going to be named battery underscore teleport one and battery underscore teleport two all right so we click on both of these and we just want these to sit right on the table and i will explain after i do these triggers i will explain why exactly we're making these info underscore targets <clears throat> so next we want a trigger underscore teleport for both of these so we're just going to control t and trigger underscore teleport just to set the classes this is going to be battery underscore trigger underscore teleport two. Oh, want that to be a two set the name okay battery underscore 
trigger underscore teleport one to correspond to the info targets. Now, te the teleports are important as are the targets. And we're just gonna set the remote destination to be battery underscore teleport one and battery underscore teleport two. <clears throat> okay, so currently the way we have this is we pick up the prop underscore physics battery one we put it into the trigger underscore teleport and it will teleport to the info underscore target the targets are important because it tells uh basically the game where to teleport the targets and where the batteries are going to rest these are important because these are the battery locations quote unquote that they're going to teleport to and exactly where you want them to basically come to rest uh after you've put them in to where they want to go so let's say it's you know like a circuit or whatever you want to complete with this quote unquote uh you put them in they teleport into the circuit and that's where they will rest basically okay so now that we have this all set up uh, we want to add an activator and this is going to be a filter underscore activator underscore name and the name is going to be filter underscore battery and the filter name is going to be battery star now why do we name it battery star because if we were to take out battery and just put battery basically it would look for an entity specifically named battery now that's fine uh, we can have that happen but let's say for just organization's sake we named these battery one and battery two right it, it doesn't matter right now so we've both named them battery one however this activator would not work and why we need the activator is because right now these trigger teleports are looking for any physics objects. It could be rubble, it could be debris, it could be anything, and it will teleport it, basically. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to make it only teleport batteries. We only care about the battery because, you know, we don't want to put in a wood chip and have that power a circuit, you know. You could do that, uh, but it wouldn't really make sense uh in the grand scheme of things of what we're doing so the filter name is battery star because again it's looking for any entity named battery but it's not looking for what comes after uh so if we were to have battery one and battery two in different locations uh, in different spawn locations i should say around the map which you could do but that's more advanced and not you know we're not going to do that for this basic tutorial basically um so what happens is it's looking for anything named battery but not the number so if you have something named battery yeah it'll teleport it but it won't teleport anything with the number after it so the star basically says look for anything named battery and do not care about anything after it so it will teleport both of these batteries because it sees the name battery right what is highlighted is what the activator sees let me re-highlight that what is activated is what or sorry what is highlighted is what the activator sees it does not care about what is after the highlight at all that's just you know good practice to organize things so we're going to go back to our trigger teleports and do two very important things we're going to go to flags for both of them and we're going to hit pushables and physics objects we want these to both be activated because as it stands right now the batteries are both pushables and physics objects you can pick them up and the player can also push them around so let's say the player accidentally kicks a battery somehow up and into the teleport trigger since it's a pushable but it's not being carried by the player it's technically not a physics object the game sees it as a pushable so it's not going to teleport but now, since we have these flags done and nice and checked, uh, when it sees the, the batteries uh, and a player somehow manages to kick them up and into the trigger underscore teleport, it will teleport them. It will see it as a pushable, say, okay, boom, activated, we're good. Okay, so now for both of these teleports, we're going to go back to class underscore info. We want the filter name to be filter underscore battery as that is the name of our filter so filter underscore battery uh filter underscore battery 
This, I don't believe... The, okay, yeah, these will not change red if you have it wrong. Make sure you get them right, or I believe you can use the selector, but don't quote me on that. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to do something else. We're going to add a math underscore counter. Uh, now, what this math counter is going to do, basically, is let's say we have a door, right? We want the door to open when both batteries are in wherever they want to be. They're completed a circuit. They're powering, basically. Uh, you know, you want to tell a story. You know, the batteries are powering a door to open, basically. And you want that to happen. Well, as it stands right now... Any one of these triggers, we could use any battery that we have currently and get the door to open. It does not matter, basically. Uh, but we want both of these batteries to be in their place before the door opens. So the math counter, uh, we're going to name battery underscore counter. And we're going to set the maximum legal value to 2. What this basically means is uh, when we put the battery into the trigger it's gonna add to one it's gonna add one so we put one battery let's say we put this battery right here into this trigger it's gonna teleport into the info target and add it to one but it's not gonna add to two because this battery still needs to be put in so after we do that we're going to go to output actually uh Let's go back to the math counter real quick because, let's see, we did that, we did that. Okay, okay, I'm so sorry. Yes, we're going to go to the batteries trigger teleport. We're going to go to outputs. We're going to go to on start touch. And we're going to add battery underscore counter. And we're going to hit add. You could use the drop down menu for this as well and see all the things that the math counter can do the math counter can divide it can multiply it can subtract if you want it to but we're just going to do an add we're going to set now this is important the parameter override needs to be one so now it's going to count to one uh with this trigger specifically because we've set this it's going to once this battery touches once either of these batteries touches this trigger specifically it's going to add to one why it's not going to do it to this one is because we have yet to add the exact same thing. So we're just going to add the same thing real quick. Add one. So now it does not matter. We can put both batteries in and it will hit two. That's important. That's really good. Uh, because again, we don't want a door or whatever is going to happen to happen with just one battery unless you want it to basically. So we're going to do another thing. We're going to go add on start touch and we're going to do battery one disable motion <clears throat> now this is important what this basically does is it will disable the motion of the battery so when the battery touches the trigger underscore teleport it will uh touch the trigger and then it will disable the motion when it touches the info underscore target. That's good. That's what we want that to happen. Because if it did not disable the motion, we could just pick the battery up again and put it in. And it would glitch the hell out and not do what we wanted it to do, basically. It would just kind of infinitely teleport between these two and get stuck in a loop. And the math counter... Uh, that we have right now would basically just instantly open anything and it it's just it would just glitch out effectively is what i'm trying to say and we don't want it to glitch out uh and you know we don't want the player to be able to pick up the battery again uh you know once they put it in so really quick we're just gonna test we're just gonna put a wall around and test this map we don't really care about making it look nice we just want it to have walls so it's enclosed uh, so that way we don't have to worry about leaks because leaks are, well, you just don't want them. Okay. So we're just going to make this big, basically make sure there's no leaks. We're looking pretty good. Okay. Now we're just going to hit run map 
and compile it just to make sure everything is going good. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now we have both of these batteries, we put them in, and look at that! It teleports, and if we mash E, we can climb on this, we can do whatever we want to it, and it will not move. Again, this is uh, important because, you know, we don't want the player to be able to pick up or knock out the battery, it ruins the illusion of the game, right? So now, oh, this battery's stuck. Oh, I know what I... Okay, I'm so sorry. I did something wrong. So basically, it works. Uh, but we need to do something else. Because I messed up. We're going to name both these batteries different. Battery 1, battery 2. Because I'm an idiot. And I apologize. So, we're going to do something else. We're going to do... On start. And we're just going to name both of these. There we go. Battery star. It's not going to recognize it, but trust me, it's going to work. And then on start touch, uh, I believe. Let's see. Okay. On start touch, battery underscore trigger underscore teleport one. And we're going to set this to kill. Just for this one, because I want to show you guys something really quick Oops, sorry about that so again we're just going to run the map really quick all right now why did we set the kill uh, uh, let me just show, show triggers toggle. Okay, so why do we set the kill trigger up? Because as it stands, uh, with this one right here, the one that does not have the kill Alright, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, so what we have to do here is instead of, uh, this, we do exclamation point activator disable motion. So the activator is just going to activate and it's going to... It's hard. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, the activator is going to look at either battery in this and disable motion for one of them, but not the second one. So we're just going to do on start touch again. Uh, activator. Disable motion. There we go. And then on start touch, uh, b b battery star. Oh, hold on. On start touch. Oh, right. Uh, battery underscore counter. And we're just going to redo this really quick. Oop, battery underscore counter add one. Okay, let me just make sure, double check this is all good. Nope. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can yell at me all you want. Okay, sorry, I'm just double checking really quick. Now we're just going to add this as well. Start touch. Battery. Uh, teleport to. Kill. Alrighty. So, let's run the map again and make sure that everything looks and is going good. Okay, so that's good, and we can still pick up this battery, look at that, and then boom, that works. So, let me explain, okay, okay, nah, 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 we're good, we're good, okay, sorry, let me explain why we added both the kill triggers to the triggers, uh, why we're killing them. So, once we get into game, I will explain that really quickly.
Sorry about my cat, if you can hear my cat. It's very loud. Okay. Show triggers underscore toggle. Okay. So, if we did not kill either of these triggers, we could basically put both batteries in one trigger and it would still count. Uh, so, we could put like two of these into the left trigger and theoretically it would teleport here for both of the batteries. Uh, and we don't want that. We want one battery to be in one slot and another to be in another slot. Like this. Oh, I did not. I don't think I set the kill trigger properly. So, I can actually show you what happens uh, if it bugs out. Like that. So, you can see the teleport has nowhere to go. It touched. I can't move it. It's bugged out. And the math counter still adds to two. Because we did not add a kill properly to the trigger. So, let's just do that real quick. Uh, da, 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 on start. Well, we did add a kill. Let's see. Oh! Battery underscore trigger teleport to kill. Okay. So, as you can see, that's basically why we don't want that to happen. Because it'll put both batteries in the same location or it'll glitch out. And we don't want that. You know, we don't want the player to be able to stack batteries. We want, you know, one battery for one location. So... Now, we pick this up, put it in here, and show triggers underscore toggle. Look at that. Trigger's gone. I can put this battery all I want here. And again, we disabled motion earlier. Uh, I believe I already explained this, but because now we can't pick it up. We don't want to be able to pick it up. So we come over here, and we put this in here. Boom. That's all good. So we're just going to quit real quick. Uh, don't forget to save, by the way. And now we're just going to add something no, uh, rudimentary. We're going to add a door. And we're just going to go funk underscore door. And let's see. Alrighty. We're going to add this triggered underscore door. And... We're going to go speed, like, 500. Uh, let's see. All right, that's fine. That's fine. And we're going to open this up. Up, please. Thank you. Apply. And now we're going to add this to the math counter. And we're going to go on, hit math. All right. Um, again, I'm so sorry for the cuts. Uh, it's uh, very rough to make a first tutorial, I guess. Um, okay, so on hit max, uh, we've made our door, and we're making the math counter and on hit max. So when this hits two, when this counts to two, both batteries are in the location, it counts to two. Uh, and we do on hit max, we're going to enter two. Uh, triggered underscore door and we want that to open so that's good that's all set now let's uh, do the batteries and theoretically we did everything right it'll open look nice and be good so we just wait Okay, so show triggers underscore toggle. We have the door right here. Put it in. Door still not open. Put it in. Door opens. As you can see, both batteries are effectively powering. Door closes. Whatever. We can keep, we can open, we can close it. It does not matter. What matters is that the batteries are in their location. They've opened a door or unlocked it. Uh, and as you can see, they cannot be moved. So we'll quit out of that. And that is how you make a very rudimentary, uh, you know, door opening puzzle, basically, with the batteries. Uh, 
you could put this anywhere, you know, you can move the triggers, you could move the info teleport. So if we wanted it to, uh, we could just put it, we could just put one right there for no reason. And as you can see, it will still basically be exactly the same. And of course you could put the info targets inside of the triggers, um, just to be like, Hey, I don't want them to teleport. That looks really dumb. Uh, but this is just an example. Uh, to show you guys, hey, this is how you do it, you know. So, boom, batteries in there, boom, battery teleports, door opens. So you can see. So, that's it. That is how you make a very rudimentary uh, battle puzzle. Uh, sorry, battery puzzle. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I apologize for the uh, the cuts. I just got interrupted by some stuff. Uh, I will upload the VMF uh, to, uh, sorry, the VMF will be in the description. Uh, so you guys can just download it and, uh, you know, study it and research what I did in this video. If you got confused, again, it's very simple. Uh, and if you wanted to go further, you know, you could add effects and various other uh, things. But that is more advance and i will leave that up really to you guys to you know perfect and uh do because you know the effects really would just be the exact same you just on start touch and you know if you want something to spark it would spark the moment it touches it because it would you know be in its place basically and teleport uh so yeah thank you guys for watching uh you know feel free to experiment with this map and i hope you guys learned something all right bye